Secondly, he's asking about the punishment for being undutiful to one's parents. It is the worst case scenario. Because when you look at how the Almighty Allah commanded, number one, worshiping Allah alone, Tawheed, believing in the oneness of Allah, monotheism. And normally you find the second command in order is being good and dutiful to one's parents. وَاعْبُدُوا اللَّهَ وَلَا تُشْرِكُوا بِهِ شَيْئًا This is Tawheed. Then, وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا And be good to your parents. Then you find the Almighty Allah also says in another ayah in Surah Al-Isra. وَقَضَى رَبُّكَ أَلَّا تَعْبُدُوا إِلَّا إِيَّا So he declared that one should not worship other than the Almighty Allah. What is his second command in order? And to be kind to one's parents. The worst sin afterward will be the opposite of being dutiful to parents, which is being undutiful to one's parents. And the punishment is severe. It is enough to understand that the Prophet ﷺ prayed against a person who would be lucky enough to witness the life of his old parents and yet doesn't have an easy path to enter Al-Jannah. So it's actually a privilege to have your parents living so that you can serve them to enter Al-Jannah through serving them as an obedience to the Almighty Allah.